Hello, this is Zaid from PA Academy. So we have been seeing a lot of influential generative AI platforms that are forwarding the use of such AI models in a practical level. One of these platforms is ComfyUI, a node-based user interface for generative AI models. It is gaining more and more popularity with time as it allows users to produce custom AI workflows according to their intention. This video will introduce you how to install ComfyUI's desktop application and ComfyUI's manager through a simple step-by-step -step guiding process. So let's get started. So we are here at the official comfy.org website. They include some materials that we could go through, but let's go directly to the download process in here and select the, the download that we want according to our device's type, either Windows or Mac. There is also a, another alternative installation through GitHub, but we won't uh, cover it for now. So I'm gonna click on the uh, download for Windows. This would download the setup program to your device. So here it is. Uh, we can now just double click on the ComfyUI setup it would start processing and we should wait for it a little bit now there's this alert that happens uh, if a device doesn't have a git software in it so it's saying that uh, our device doesn't have git we would press on open git download page to download uh, git to our device so uh, select your relevant device type and uh, download your git uh, application so we will also cover this uh, really quickly so it is also downloaded in here uh, we would just double click and then allocate the necessary stuff in here the setup options and so on it's mostly like generic so just keeping it as it is and finishing the installation of git Okay, now it is uh, finished going back to ComfyUI and the, the alert should now be gone and we should be able to install ComfyUI in a clean way. We can just press the get started button in here and it would take us into four steps. Firstly, selecting our GPU, keep it as NVIDIA if your device is uh, having the NVIDIA graphic card, clicking next and uh, choosing the location uh, of the program. So it would be best to uh, locate a new folder uh, for specifically for ComfyUI so that you can locate the files within this folder. So I'm gonna select this and continue. These are also some optional installation options that you can do if you have already an existing portable version of ComfyUI you can do this step but for initial downloads you can just skip it and then finalize the app settings and click install so after the downloads uh, have been finished uh, ComfyUI would open up uh, and it would showcase workflow templates available for you to uh, start iterating with. We can just select uh, Im image generation workflow for now and it would uh, give us this alert saying that there is no uh, relevant AI model which is within the checkpoint node. And how could we do that is through downloading ComfyUI manager. So for installing ComfyUI Manager extension to our program, uh, we should go to the ComfyUI Manager GitHub uh, web page. Scroll down, we, we would see uh, some installation guide in here. Uh, there would be some uh, different kind of methods to download ComfyUI Manager. But to install it in a simple manner, we would just do this following process. So we would navigate to our ComfyUI folder that we have created and then go inside the custom nodes folder left click in the bar in here and then type cmd to open up uh, the terminal afterwards we would just copy this code in here and paste it accordingly within the 
uh, CMD in here. Then press enter and then this should start adding the ConfUI manager to our program. Now the installation of ConfUI's manager is done. All we need to do is just to close the CMD and then reopen ConfUI to ensure that ConfUI manager is added. And uh, if we look now at the top right corner, we see uh, the manager button uh, being added. We can just click on it and then see the tools available of ConfUI Manager. So ConfUI Manager is responsible for downloading different kind of custom nodes for ConfUI as well as downloading AI models within the program. For our case, for example, we have the SD 1.5 model missing. So what we should do now is just go to the manager bar in here, model manager, and then type checkpoint to navigate through the checkpoint models. And we would just notice and see the uh, missing model that we uh, had, uh, the version 1.5 in here. We would just click on install and then uh, it should start installing. An alternative option to download AI models is just to click on the name itself and it would open a relevant web page so that you can download it accordingly. But for simple method, we can just stick to this approach. This process of uh, installing the AI model would also take some time. So just keep waiting for the download to finish. The model download have uh, finished and uh, it says that a refresh uh, of ConfUI is required. So we are now reopening ConfUI. After we reopen ConfUI, we can just check the checkpoint node selected and then we would see the uh, SD 1.5 model uh, being uh, installed. So this would just finish the setup and uh, the workflow should now work in a clean way. So let's try it together. And this is the uh, output of the workflow template. So yeah, this is uh, mainly the installation process and guide of uh, ConfUI. There is a lot of details to mention and to introduce as well, but it would take also its own process. With ConfUI installed, you are ready to unlock a new potential of design practices. Discover our online workshops at BA Academy and take the next step towards staying ahead in this rapidly evolving field. Thank you for watching.